it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to create the Roland VersaWorks contour cut lines directly in Roland VersaWorks. So this is a really easy, fast, and free method to adding contour cut lines directly in the software. Now, the trick here is that the PDF that you bring into uh, VersaWorks needs to have vector data. So an SVG can't be imported, but an SVG that's embedded in a PDF can. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, we are going to use one other program, but it's completely free. It's called Canva and you can easily sign up and then open up your SVG and we will go from there. Very fast, easy. You're going to see this can all be done in just a matter of minutes. So we will switch over here to the computer and just go directly to Canva. Now, um, I'm going to put a link to the website in the description for you. What you'll see is I already have an account. I have a pro account, um, which is a paid version, but you can do this on a free version as well. And I'm gonna open up an incognito window um, so that I have that free option. You'll be able to see that you can do it in there as well. Okay, so if you, this is my free version, see, free right here. And what you're gonna do is click create a design. Now my suggestion is to click custom design and make the uh, panel or artboard, whatever you wanna call it, um, the size of your finished printed transfer, or whatever you're making. So switch it to inches, and then I'm just gonna put like 10 by 10, okay? And then we'll do create a new design, and this white artboard will open up, okay? So then what you're going to do is you are going to upload your SVG. So the SVG that I have, um, I have uh, from SoFancy. So it's anything, you know, any SVG will work here, but I'm going to use one that is directly from SoFancy. So let me find where I put that. Good vibes right here. Okay, so this is the file right here. I'm gonna click upload and you can see it's right here. So then I'm going to select it and it's going to open on the artboard and I'll just resize it so it's about the same size as that 10 by 10. All right, and then all I need to do now is export this file. So I'm just gonna click share, and then I'm going to select download. Now here is where you need to make the correct selection. So you're gonna do, you have two options for PDF. So you're gonna click PDF print, so best for printing. Okay, you don't need to change any of these other options. You don't even need to add bleed, even if you want bleed. You can do that in VersaWorks, and then you're gonna click download. Okay, so that PDF is going to download onto your computer with that SVG embedded on it. So now we're gonna open up that PDF file directly in VersaWorks, so I will meet you over there. Okay, so now you're in VersaWorks, so you're gonna to go to File, Add Job to Queue, and find the queue that you wanna add, and then there is that file, the PDF file, um, that we exported from Canva. So we'll just click open and this file will open in your queue. Now what you can see is that if it had cut lines already, it would have that little A right here. This file doesn't have that, so we need to add those files, uh, add those cut lines. So we're just gonna go to the file and right click to get to job assistant. So when job assistant opens, it opens in another panel and what you can see here is there's three uh, tools on the left side, all right? So this first panel is where I like to just select the layer that I want to add the cut file, the cut lines to. So in this case, I only want the cut line around that peach outer layer, so I'm just going to select that. Keep it selected, and then go to the cut settings, which is the second tab. Now, these are the defaults, and you'll be able to change them if you want. So I want to add my cut lines exactly as we see it here. I want a solid cut line, not a perforated cut line. I want the cut line around the entire edge, and I actually also want interior cut lines. Interior meaning where there is uh, transparent, like in this white areas here, I want cut lines to be there as well. If I put it on do not cut interior, it's only going to put it around the very, very edge of the design, and I'll end up with white of uh, heat transfer or vinyl, vinyl, whatever you're using, okay? And then you can change the offset. So I have a negative offset here, which is going to bring um, the, in, the cut line in a little bit, giving me a little bit of a bleed. And then I'm just gonna click Create. And you can see that it has now added, and I'll zoom in a little bit, it has now added those cut lines, all right? So, and it's also inside the edge of the design. So the last step, oops, I need to, 
there's an OK button down the bottom here and you want to click OK and it's going to click say yes it's going to add a second job in the queue and that's okay so now this one does not have the cut lines this is the original again you can see special items a does not exist this one does have the cut lines which you can see right along the edge and it also shows as a so if you right click on here and now you can go to settings and continue setting up that design but what you'll see is you have those little red dots uh, dancing ants there and you are basically all set so then you once you you know finish your layout or nest whatever you want to do you can rip this and send it to um, the printer and what you're going to see after that is um, the fact that once it's printed there's a nice bleed and we have a perfectly print and cut heat transfer decal super easy i love that you can do this right in versaworks